Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm just outside my door here in the Appalachian Mountains in southwest Virginia at about 2,700 feet, and I'm in millipede habitat. Millipede habitat is pretty much everywhere. Today, I'm going to talk about the flatback millipede, sometimes called the Kentucky flatback millipede, and I'm going to talk about its weapons of mass destruction. This millipede releases hydrogen cyanide gas, one of the most toxic substances on the planet Earth. So stay tuned for this episode about the ecology, biology of the flatback millipede and some cool things about its dangerous hydrogen cyanide gas releases. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So this episode is about millipedes, and specifically the flat-backed or Kentucky flat-backed millipede, which is also known as a cherry millipede. And this group of millipedes is known by a number of different common names, so with the common names it can be confusing. Before I go on, however, I want to spend a moment to distinguish between often confused millipedes and centipede. The root word ped means foot in both terms, and milli means thousand, and centi means a hundred. This is not the actual number of feet for each organism group, but it indicates in general that millipedes have more legs than centipedes. In fact, millipedes have two pairs of legs per segment, while centipedes have one pair of legs per segment. Centipede legs tend to stick out at their sides, while millipede legs point straight down. Centipedes are faster moving than millipedes, while millipedes tend to be slower and more methodical in their movements. Millipedes are detritivores, feeding on decaying organic material, while centipedes are ferocious predators. While millipedes don't bite, centipedes can bite or sting and are considered to be venomous. The scientific name of this particular millipede I'm featuring today in this video is Alphaloria virginiensis. Now I'm no expert on millipede taxonomy, but these with the yellow spots down its back I suspect are a particular species called Alphaloria virginius montana. So this particular species or subspecies has a limited range and is found in isolated parts of eastern Tennessee, southeast Kentucky, southwest Virginia, and North Carolina. Overall, members of this genus, the Alifaloria, are quite common across the east coast, and you're likely to encounter one digging in leaf litter. These millipedes, like other millipedes, are common inhabitants of the leaf litter and play a critical role in decomposition and nutrient cycling of decaying plant and animal organic matter. They are beautifully marked, and this particular one with these bright yellow markings. In biology, organisms that have bright colors that are tied with some danger they exhibit is called having aposomatic coloration or aposomatism. So what danger is associated with these bright colored millipedes? They don't have jaws, they don't bite, they don't sting, they don't pinch you. What do they have? Why do they have this bright color to indicate danger to predators? Well, millipedes are masters of chemical warfare. They possess weapons of mass destruction. In fact, Millipedes can release hydrogen cyanide and benzyl alkalides, which are toxic to many organisms. As an aside, if you pick up one of these millipedes and hold it in your fist and shake it and smell it, you'll observe a distinct sweet smell of almonds or cherries from that mix of hydrogen cyanide and benzyl alkalides. Hydrogen cyanide tends to have a sort of an almond kind of odor to it. Apparently, millipedes don't produce enough of these toxins to be dangerous to humans in a random encounter. However, be sure to wash your hands after handling a millipede, and don't touch your eyes or you might encounter irritation and a burning sensation. According to one publication on millipedes, they describe the amount of hydrogen cyanide produced by a single millipede is enough to kill 18 pigeon-sized birds. So this uh, hydrogen cyanide they produce is significant to their predators. Hydrogen cyanide itself has a well-known history. 
In World War I, it was used by the French as a chemical weapon against the Central Powers. The gas is lighter than air and dispersed quickly, and so it was replaced by some heavier poisonous gas agents. Sadly and tragically, hydrogen cyanide gas was used in Nazi extermination camps during World War II. Also during World War II, the United States considered using hydrogen cyanide along with cyanogen chloride as part of Operation Downfall and the planned invasion of Japan. In the end, President Harry Truman decided against it and instead used the atomic bomb. So these little innocent millipedes advertise their toxicity with bright coloration patterns on their exoskeleton. While they're considered toxic to organisms that might eat them, they are considered harmless to humans and very beneficial and play a huge role in our ecology. Millipedes in this genus can occur in a wide variety of colors from pink and reds to bright yellows and oranges. It's always fun to find one of these and observe them up close, but be sure to always wash your hands after handling one. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode about the flat-backed millipede. Remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature. From frogs, toads, snakes, and turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.